<laughs> it took me like a good three or four times to try and attempt to record this because I just keep laughing. <laughs> oh, what a win that was by the Reds. I can't believe it happened. I don't know how it happened. Is this is this really happening? Like, this is hysterical. Like, all I've done is laugh because of just how comical um, Man United are. <laughs> Match started off with Keita getting his goal. I ran downstairs for a sec, so, like, when the match had already started when I come upstairs to watch it and I looked and I was like... Why is there, like, no players on the pitch? Like, is this offside or something? Like, what's going on? Like, it was literally just as it was about to happen. No, just Man United players. Just don't like track and back and just left <laughs> us to just play football. There was so much space. It was so easy to the point where, like, when Salah plays a free ball, he literally has time to, like, practically stop. And same with Keita. Touch, bang, finish. It, it was weird, but I was loving it. Then... Yata joins in the party. Brilliant. <laughs> Same again. Starts from the defence. Robbo. Long ball over. Drilled it to... I think it was... K yeah, Keita on the edge of the box in like the day. Maguire and Shaw bash into each other. And they're like, oh, 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 oh. What's going on? Where's the ball? Like two idiots. Keita like miscontrols it. And whilst they're like panicking even has the time to recontrol pass it to um Trent who's on the overlap who then just whips it in um straight past every United player for Yota to tap it in on the back post brilliant brilliant <laughs> and I was like oh okay yeah this this is good this but I'm still a bit nervous oh I was so wrong so so wrong <laughs> because then Salah joins in the party Salah shoots it deflects and goes into the path of Keita. And it was just basically heart and desire. He wanted to score. He tried the first time and he wasn't giving up. And United players stood still for that split second and he just powered past them and whacks it in for the tapping. I really, really, really love the second goal out of all the goals um, because usually he's known for getting the ball um, and killing it into the far post, isn't he? This time, Yota drills it into him. And he just hits it first time into the near, um, near post, which De Gea is not ready for it. And then Salah, Salah was like, no, I still want another goal. I need my hat-trick. <laughs> like, I, I I really want some more goals, to be honest with you. But I'll, I'll, I'll have this one just for Henderson's pass. Just for Henderson's pass alone. Lovely through a ball. With the outside of his foot, leaves Salah with acres of room to just run, run um, into the hair. Casually chips it over with his left foot, done and dusted. Hat trick, hat trick hero. Oh, what a guy! <laughs> I literally, I've never watched a match and just giggled so much in my life. Madness. So I'd say the person who had the most impact to me was actually Naby Keita. You just see him; he was everywhere and. He was always like the vocal point of the attack. Shout out to Firmino as well. He was back to being his creative self who like starts in the midfield, passes it, moves it about and tries to get in and get goals himself. Like, everyone was just on the ball today, but I don't know if that's because we're absolutely boss. Oh, United are the shit. <laughs> it can be both, can it? I love it to be both. <laughs> My camera would die mid reaction. <laughs> so yeah, um Keita was one of them. He just ran the first half. Um I was so gutted when he got injured because of Pogba deciding I know what I'll do. I'll come on for about fifteen minutes. I'll jump two footed studs up into Keita's ankle. And then I get sent off and no one can blame me if we still lose. No one like I I, I can't be held responsible for that. that Sorry, not my fault. Whoa, like, what are you playing at? Nothing was going on. There was no attack going on. There. Like, there was, we weren't scoring. So why, like, why would you do such a thing? Poor Keita, who worked so hard to like be fit. 
on a long period of run and playing games finally for the club and then get injured. I hope it's not as bad, but he did get stretched off. Like, it, I was laughing at first because I was like, this is the best thing ever. Like, Not only are we thrashing them, but then Pogba gets sent off after about two seconds playing. <laughs> I thought, oh my god, and then I like I looked again. And I was like, oh shit, Kate is getting stretched off here. Like, I feel so sorry for him. But yeah, f- fingers crossed that it's not that bad. Yeah, he's losing the plot. Kate is James Wines and Ronaldo. Or, like, Ronaldo flipping out like every. Oh, is this a, this a wild goal? <laughs> is this a wild goal? It was actually a decent goal, to be fair. And then jogs back to the halfway line. <laughs> VAR <laughs> being that amazing miracle it is. <laughs> this allows it, makes it even better. Oh, <laughs> Every, everything just went right for the Reds today, I think. Everything just went right. Well, apart from the injuries to Milner and Keita, which is a bit worrying, but we do have backup and... Fabino's injury is not meant to be as bad as like do you think like it's not a long term injury so hopefully we'll be okay but yeah um, everything went right for the Reds today it showed a massive massive um, ambition for the title and as I, I saw all the Reds were singing the Reds have got no money but we'll still win the league and it really looks like it really looks like that honest to God <laughs> So, yeah, that's enough for me because I just keep laughing. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so, take care. Up the reds. <laughs> oh. <laughs>